If you're new to the series, Let's Build It in Blender is a show where I build the things you guys vote for. Yes, you watching this right now. It's not step-by-step, -step, but more of a general workflow with some jokes mixed in. This season, you guys voted on making a stylized vehicle with the description of kind of fast, mildly furious. This project is available for free members up on the CG Cookie site, and without further ado, let's build it. With the provided reference images, I've given us either easy mode or hard mode. So knock your socks off with whichever one you want to try. Now, I'm a bit of a self-proclaimed lazy boy, just like the recliner, so I'm going to stick with easy mode here. I first want to block out the silhouette of the vehicle, starting with the sides. I'll use a simple edge to start, mirror it, and begin extruding vertices out to fit the contours of my vehicle. I'll start by defining the features of the front of the vehicle, eventually taking all of that detail across the hood of the car. I'll also need to bring out some room for our engine block. She's a little cozy in there. We've got to make some room. I'm also going to bring out the wheel wells just a little bit to give it some flair and some finesse. Is this the equivalent of winged tips for cars? Ladies, I need to know these things. Let's also fill out an area to put some headlamps so we can cruise this bad boy around at night. Now, we are going to need to do a bit of general cleanup since we don't really know exactly what the wheels of this vehicle are going to look like quite yet. Spoiler, make sure to vote on the next video in the link below. Honestly, that's already starting to look a lot like a car, and I'd know because I've totally seen one before. Trust me, why would I lie about that? Let's take a look at doing pretty much the exact same job over on the back side now. I'm also going to want to make sure I round out the back just a little bit to provide our roof and alcove to slide right into. Let's fill out the back, straighten out the vertices, and make sure to round everything out well enough so that we can slowly work away from making it look less like a boxcar. Don't get me wrong, boxcars are cool, but I don't know if they're exactly street legal, just saying. Let's bring our roof up and over towards the front of our vehicle now, because we ain't making a convertible. I don't know how much money you think we have, but we ride in style on a budget. We can also easily develop a windshield by connecting our roof and hood pieces, and then inset the faces in between. We will need to remove the faces in the center due to our mirror modifier, but that's easy peasy and I can just slide the vertices over. Rinse and repeat one more time so that we can inset and separate the windshield as its own mesh as well. Now, you guys didn't vote on the Safari Prowler, rest in peace Prowler, so we're going to need some doors for this lady. I found making a preliminary run of faces around the door to be exceptionally useful for this design. Let's add some thickness to the rim of the door and then duplicate and separate the faces to use for the door piece itself. I can quickly fill it out using the existing boundaries and then inset another rim for the top piece where we would have our window. Just like the windshield, I will repeat those insets and then iterate a little bit on the window itself, which was nothing more than a plane with two loop cuts. Most of the battle came from trying to fit it into the window, actually, because somebody didn't want to fit. Isn't that right, window? Now, on to the back windshield. Again, a simple inset with some cleanup due to our mirror modifier. Repeat until we are confident enough to really separate this window as its own separate piece. As we round our way back towards the rear, let's go and close out the back and undersides of the vehicle. I didn't provide any reference for this part as it really is just a matter of trying to close it out with as little vertices as possible. So do what you can. Once we have the final faces closed, that's pretty much going to be it for our vehicle blockout all completed. So let's add our make it look good modifier, also known as subdivision surface. We'll notice that it looks kind of blobby. If you watched the last season, you'll know I have the perfect modifier combo for keeping it tight. Let's add a bevel modifier and place it above the stack. I'll change the method to weight and the amount to 0.02. Now I can start defining some edges using the bevel weight slider to tighten them up and maintain the silhouette I had initially defined. If only this kind of life hack worked on my real life silhouette, you know what I mean? All along the vehicle, for areas I want to tighten up, I'll be using this exact technique. It's pretty powerful, as you can see, I don't really even need to tweak any of the underlying blockout geometry. This is going to afford me so much flexibility in my work, as I can very easily manipulate my asset if I need to. Another pro gamer strat is that if you don't like how the edges connect, you can alter the pattern used. 
I generally tend to switch to arc as it does the best for smoothing, I've found. I'll finish tightening everything up and set some of the front grills on the front fender of the vehicle, and then I'm going to move on to the door. For rim edges, I generally tend to put my bevel weight to only around 0.1. This will help it stay sharper and make our edges crisp. We will also need to add a few retaining loop cuts to the windows to sharpen them out as well, since we really can't go ahead and bevel them. One dimensional plane is really my only true weakness. Finally, I will bevel the same leading edges that we did for the rest of the body to ensure that the profile matches across these meshes. Now, a quick pit stop to admire our work so far. As an artist, make sure to critically assess your work, but also remember to be kind about your own art. Art is a never ending process, so enjoy the journey and be proud of what you make, even if it isn't exactly where you want it to be quite yet. So back to modeling, let's inset a headlamp here using the geo we already have to fill out the area there. We are going to do the same for the back as well, again a pretty easy and quick way to get some detail. To close out the modeling we need to make some sporty mirrors for our ride. I used a simple cube, squashed it down vertically to make it a rectangular prism. With a split down the center I spread it out and used the same subserve bevel technique I did for the car body, and then I extruded an arm out to connect our headpiece, which I made by simply extruding a new circle mesh over top. I inset a center face to the side of it, gave it a bit of a lip, and then I slapped that onto our car body and mirrored it over to the other side. I also did the exact same process but for some door handles. However, they, uh, well, you know, look like door handles, duh. But hold up a minute, I hear you cry. That's not stylized. I mean, it is if you believe hard enough. Not gonna cut it, eh? Hey, fine, let's make it stylized. But before we do, let's make a duplicate of everything and place it into a backup collection. Go ahead and hide that collection once you're done. We just need it for some insurance purposes. Now, I'm going to apply all the modifiers of every piece by hitting Control plus A and selecting Visual Geometry to Mesh. I will repeat that for every piece because I ultimately want to go ahead and join them into one object. Once they're all one piece, Let's add a lattice modifier onto it and add a lattice into the scene. In object mode, scale the lattice up to fit the bounding box of the car. Once we link the lattice to the modifier, we're going to be able to use the lattice to manipulate the vehicle without ever actually touching the car itself. Pretty cool, right? Now I can add some loop cuts to the lattice, which will help me better hone in on the areas that I want to manipulate, letting me tweak areas to fit my stylization needs. Now I can take my car and actually make it a Hot Wheels toy instead. And now that my friends is how you go ahead and pimp your ride. Well that's going to be it from me in this episode. All project resources will be available for free members on the CG Cookie site. The link is down below. Make sure you go ahead and vote on the tires that we're going to be making in the next video down below and wiggle that mouse cursor up to our subscribe button to stay up to date on our top notch Blender educational content. As always, I've been Chunk. This has been Let's Build It in Blender. Later, skater. When is a car not a car? Now, this one's a bit of a stumper, but it's when it turns into a driveway. What do you say to a frog that needs a ride? Hop in. I got a tough one. What is four wheels and flies? Well, a garbage truck. <laughs>